In this video, we'll be graphing the greatest integer function. This function is sometimes called the step function. The notation that you'll see is f of x is equal to these double brackets around the argument, or you might say y is equal to the greatest integer of x. Now the definition y is the greatest integer which is less than or equal to x. So if we wanted to find the greatest integer of 0 0.3, we could look at the number line, and here we have 0 and 1. These are my integers. And 0 0.3 on the number line would be about here. So the greatest integer that is less than, or equal to, but less than, would be 0. The greatest integer of 1.4, we continue our number line, here is 2, and it's an integer. 1.4 is about here, so we want the greatest integer, which is less than or equal to. So this is equal to 1. Now if we looked at the greatest integer of a negative 1.6, let's go ahead and extend our number line to the left here. Here we have a negative 1 and then a negative 2 um, integers here and here. So a negative 1.6 is about here on the number line. So the greatest integer of negative 1.6 is negative 2. And of course, if we have uh, an integer, for example, 5 in the double brackets, then the greatest integer of that integer is that integer. So what I'm going to do then to graph this greatest, greatest integer function, I'm going to put some numbers in for x and see what the y values are, and then we'll plot those and see if we can establish a pattern for the graph. So let's look at x equals 0, 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 0 0.9, and then 1.0 and 1.2. And the greatest integer of an integer is that integer. Um, when we have the greatest integer of 0.2, if we look at the number line, here's 0 and here's 1. These are our integers. Um, 0.2 would be about here on the number line. So the greatest integer, which is less than 0.2, is 0. 0.5 is about here, and so that goes to 0. 0.9 is about here on the number line. And again, the greatest integer of 0.9 would be 0. Now when our argument is 1, then we want the greatest integer of 1, which is less than or equal to that number. So this value is 1. And then 1.2, here's 2. 1.2 would be about here. So the greatest integer of 1.2 is 1. Now let's plot our points. We have 0, 0. 0 0.20, 0 0.50, and then when x is 1, we have to jump up to 1. So the point 1, 0 is not included in the graph here. The point 1, 1 is included. And then at 1.2, we have a y value of 
1. So we can see from our graph here, our pattern, that we do include the left boundary, and then we need all points in between these integers. So include the left boundary, don't include the right boundary. Same way here, we're going to include that left boundary, but we're not going to include the right boundary. Now if we continue this pattern, when x is 2, include the left boundary, but not the right. And then when x is 3, include that y equals 3, but not the right. And then when x is 4, include the left boundary, but not the right, and so on. Now if we look to the left, we need, when x is negative 1, we need to include that left boundary, but not the right. When x is negative 2, we have negative 2 for the y value, but don't include that white right boundary. So, oops, negative 3 would be negative 3, and then negative 4, negative 4, and so forth. 